Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Or at least that's what I'm telling myself, man. I know I've been gone for the last couple of days and a lot of things have happened since I've been gone, but we're going to get right into it. Now, the first thing I want to get into is the one that I knew as soon as I heard it, she was going to get some shit for. And that is Angela Yee saying that she was the only one, the only one that worked on The Breakfast Club. Now, again, she clarified that she misspoke and I kind of understood what she was trying to say, but at the same time too, I just knew she was going to take heat. Um, now she's taking heat because again, she went on, she, she left the breakfast club. First off, I was getting that. She left the breakfast club. And I think one of the, one of the reasons that she left is that she, she got tired of feeling like she was the only woman in the room. She, she got tired of feeling like she was the only woman with the mic. Um, and I can understand the feeling a little bit because I've watched hundreds of interviews from the breakfast club. And a lot of the times DJ Envy and Charlemagne will have opinions on something and a a lot of the times Angelique will want to talk or she'll want to say some things and sometimes it gets maybe a little bit dismissed or it, people just kind of look you know people just kind of just like ah, well Angelique what are you talking about and so I can kind of understand sometimes too where she might have an opinion on something and it just gets simply invalidated because she's a woman and I can totally understand that but where she lost a lot of people is where she said that she was the only person that works on the breakfast club and anybody that watches the breakfast club just knew that that was a flat out lie um there have been there are plenty of women in that room with Angelique Yee there are plenty of women behind the scenes with Angela Yee but yes Angela I do agree with you that I can understand it can be very tough to be a woman in a male dominated room you know what I'm saying where you have an opinion on something that may be different from a male's a male's way of thinking and just having to sit there and have to bite your tongue or try to say something and it gets invalidated or try to say something and it doesn't really get uh, it come across the way that you want it to. Now, I do definitely think that Angeli gets a bad rep. I do a lot. I do think a lot of people feel like Angeli is very messy. Angeli is just a type of person that likes to, you know, throw rocks and hold and hide her hand. Um, of course, um, what's her name? Little Mama uh, called her out as well by saying. Um, you know, you basically the pot calling the kettle black because, of course, the infamous interview where Charlemagne was on Little Mama's head. I don't remember Angela Yee being there, but I definitely don't. If she was, Angela Yee didn't say anything to Charlemagne to get Charlemagne off of Lil Mama's ass. So, you know, it's definitely a type of thing where Angela Yee definitely, again, likes to throw throw rocks and hide her hand. Um, Angela Yee has always been getting shit from different people over the years, especially over the Gucci Man thing where she was trying to, she swore up and down that she never tried to flirt or have or have SEX with Gucci Man, And then lo and behold, an old interview shows up where she was indeed flirting with that man. So it's kind of hard to come to Angela, Lee, Angela Yee's um, defense sometimes because she's, again, definitely one of those types of people that likes to start shit and then act like she doesn't know what the, you know, when she gets backlash, doesn't really know how to respond to it. But at the end of this, at the end of this, um, conversation. I do believe that she was right. I definitely think it is tough to be a woman in a male dominated room where you're the only one that has a voice to say something or speak on certain things. And then when you try to, you can, you normally can't get a word, uh, in edgewise. So I want to know what you guys think down below. Um, how do you guys feel about the transition with the breakfast club too? Honestly, in my personal opinion, I think the breakfast club is better. I definitely do. I do like the rotating guests. Um, and also too, I just, I just think that DJ Emmy and Charlamagne have really great chemistry and just and just being able to just to kind of just flow off of each other um i do think that three is a crowd in general when it comes to podcasts or anything like that unless you have an even number of people in the room um joe button podcast for example uh i know they 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 take out and add in a flip every now and then but for the most part there is it is definitely one cohesive group of them um and, and they all work really really well together but for me three people in one room it just seems like a very odd number uh, no pun intended of people being in the room and having opinions. But I want to know what you guys think down below.